Big Daddy again over here? What the fuck, dude? 18 hours. You're starting like, to live right here. You're starting to make this your second home and beat the place. Hey. Oh, shit. That's a good idea, dude. Well, we ain't started on the chopper yet. Well, we got us a little project here, but our buddy James Crawford. Is that right if I say your last name, too? Pinstriper from the 19, what, 50? 50. 1957. It's pinstripe since 1957, Bruce. I think James knows what he's doing, bud. He's been around longer than me. Not much. Yeah, I'll be 70. I'll be 70 here. So 15 years old. older than me. Still out there kicking it hard every day. This pinstripe does this, bud. He does this like you wipe your ass every night. That's how easy it is to him. Not All right, James? Not bad. It's like spreading butter on uh, bread for James. If you and me try it, we'll get it. Oh, huh? The color, what was it? The color? color? I don't know. Pete Special? Pete Special. <laughs> it's, what, it's called leftover, dude. Hot blood. Leftover from something else. It's kind of an hot blood. Hold on, dude. Okay, let James go. Can't be talking too loud. Nah, no, you can me. That's one thing about James, he can talk, rock, and roll. There's a good dude, James work right through it. There was one time, man, he was pinstriping a car over here, dude. This ain't no shit, dude. These, this guy, I, I built this car for this guy, it was a truck, a little 37, remember that, James? We won't mention names, but this guy invited, it was freezing cold in the middle of the winter. James was gonna come over, pinstripe, and the owner, like you, okay, was gonna come over and show him what he wanted. And what do you think this guy does, dude? He makes a party out of it. This guy makes a party out of it and invites about 25 to 30 people over to watch James. That wouldn't happen. And then besides doing all that, huh, James? Besides doing all that, James pit stripes more than half the truck. And he says, well, I really don't, his wife says, I don't like that design. I think we need to take it off and do something different. Bye -bye. About a three hour job turned out to be a 12 and a half, 13 hour job with the kerosene heaters going. Right, James? Yep. It was a freaking nightmare. Dude. Lots of this. Yeah. I'm amazed. What? With the straight line. I'm telling you, dude, this guy's a. Look at that, right there. Oh, 70 year old hands, bud. Look at that. Look at it, dude. Tank moving with his hand, bud. God. Straight as an arrow. Look at that shit. Watch when he gets done with this, dude. Look at that, dude. Did you see how he rolled that line on there? The tank fell over. I don't understand how it gets different. You know what I don't understand is how he gets a design on there and can match it perfect to the other side. That takes practice, dude. See, if you're 70, James, 50, you started when at 52? 57. 57, so that would have been 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. That's still a diamond. I hope I can wear that or something. This ain't shit, but you ought to see someone that's real fine line. He's got brushes that only have two or three hairs in it. I'm serious. It's amazing. You ain't seen all his brushes, dude. Right there on the floor. Now, look at this, dude. That's in about, that's badass, dude. Now see, that's gonna give you more of a crowd that's gonna buy it. Oh, okay. What do you mean, James? What kind of bag is this? Is it a Harley? It's a, yeah, yeah, they're all Harleys. This is actually a 72 FLH. Do you want a Harley Davidson? HD. Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson. It's gonna give it more of a crowd that's gonna buy it, dude. Yeah. Am I right, James? Uh, yep. That little design right there was badass, look at that. You gonna use two on that, James, or one coat? Well, I'm gonna start with one to see if it needs to Now, check it out. Hold on. He's using a different brush, bud. Look at that. He ain't using his pinstripe brush. Well, that's a leather brush. That's a leather brush, dude. Your left hand is how you steady. Do you ever use that stick, James? No. You gotta have that. Check this out, look at this shit. I know. I want to 
Yeah. Feet scared me and ain't afraid of nothing. Holy shit, man. That edge, dude. Three strokes, four strokes, dude. You can't even tell, man. Now, are you glad we didn't put spider webs on that bike? Not more than glad. I got spider webs. Sometimes you need to listen to uh, outside. I always listen to you, Pete. Okay. Am I ever not once listen to you? And you know that, goddammit. All right, buddy. I respect you. But when it comes to pinstripe, you need to listen to James, not me. Well, whatever I say, just blow it in one ear and out the other, because James is the man when it no, comes to it. Jim, I, I heard James got the town on mature at the one minute. I said, why don't you consider this? I guarantee you, when people see this shit, they're going to ask who did it, buddy. And who are you going to say, James? James Crawford. James Crawford. AKA Pinstripe from Texas. Yeah, man, James. Yeah, there you go, James. I'll make you feel good. Yeah. You were going to come down with that. Yeah, sorry. Look at that shit, dude. Yeah. You know what's amazing about it? He ain't even got no freaking lines or nothing to make sure they're straight. Oh. And then you can just match both sides. That's what it is. Yeah, he'll match both sides, and you won't have to look together. Did you start out as a sign? How did you start out? Dude? You were a truck driver, right? Well, yeah, but I went. I mean, you worked it. You worked over at Safeway, right? Well, yeah, but I went to the Ghetto Hill Drag Strip and that. Well, you were a Safeway truck driver, and not, huh? not in 1957. No. I, went, I went to the Ghetto Hill Drag Strip in 1957, and there was a guy from Oklahoma City that didn't drive the nations on the car. Uh huh. Five dollars a pop, and he made a good money. You were putting lettering on cars for five dollars a pop? No, he was getting trapped in the back. Oh, okay. This guy from Oklahoma City. Right. So I, I, talked, I talked to him and found out what kind of paint he used. And he gave me a brush, gave me a little advice. And I went home and kept driving newspapers for about a year. And newspapers by the next garage. Right, yeah, James? Right. And then you started going to the track or what? Yeah, uh, no, my first paying job paid me 10 bucks. I thought I could cut a bat on a day or <laughs> Ten dollars in 1958. I paid my first job was five bucks a day. So then you got that job and then your name got known or what, dude? Well, it just kind of, it was slow, but yeah. I don't rush into anything. So you just kept going and now you're here where you're at? Yep. Still dabbling in paint, still enjoying it. You stay pretty damn busy, I know that. Cause you have to set about a week appointment. I tried it last night on those things. Doesn't look like you succeeded, look, bud. I just didn't have much luck, man. <laughs> well, okay. well, you know, this paint is kind of like eating ice cream. Get back there you go. What do you think of that? Upside down. I think it's upside down. What's up? Oh. See that, dude? That looks pretty nice. Nice there, dude. What do you think of that place? Hey, watch the ashes, bud. Look, you're gonna get ashes on that, that red paint. James gonna get pissed off, dude. James gonna get mad if you get an ash, drop an ashes. 